Uh, so I have met a, a new lady after recently being divorced. I was married with my wife 14 years, two beautiful kids. Um, I realized that she had been cheating with multiple men over the last couple of years. And uh, so I now have all the kids. It's, it's been very hard, but I have finally met somebody who understands what it's like to be a single father raising two. And we've been, been dating for the last six months. Well, I, I, I commend you for taking care of your kids as a single dad. We are also very happy that you have moved on uh, with your life. But there's a problem. Well, there's nothing really wrong. I, okay. I just, well, if there's nothing really wrong, then why, why are you calling us? Why are you wasting our time? <laughs> because cause I just got out of a relationship where she broke my heart and was cheating on me. So this is more just like a test. It's a test? So early in the relationship, six months, and you're already testing her? Yeah, I, I want to move forward, and I want to I want to move to a different level. Like, I would love to invite her to move in, I, but it's hard when I think there could be something else happening. And I have a lot of insecurities. Okay, well, why don't you slow your roll a little bit? <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, six months, you've yeah, been exactly. divorced, you're raising two children. Slow your roll. Wow. Frank, what is your uh, girlfriend's name? Uh, Tracy. Tracy. He's a little overly uh, insecure over the last situation. And I, I can't totally blame. get it. We'll just make the call. I would feel damaged. Well, guys, you heard the prelude of what's to come, and I can't wait to hear it as well. But before we go, my name is Rowena. Welcome to my channel, Rowena Explores. On my channel, I visit unfamiliar places and topics where I learn, experience, explore, and expose myself to new things and new ideas. When I bring in my excursions, I'm hoping you'll see what I'm doing, like what I'm doing, and in turn visit these places for yourselves. Or bring your friends and families along for the experience. When I bring you my topics, even though these episodes might be entertaining, I'm hoping that you'll learn something of value you can apply to your lives and share with others. Thank you for your support. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, you can do so now by hitting the subscribe button and you can also ring that notification bell in order to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And without any other delays, let's continue to listen to this War of Roses on 103.5 with Marie and Hollywood Hamilton. So let's listen now and see what's going on and then we can talk later. See you soon. Hi, I'm calling for Tracy. Is she available? Yeah, this is she. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. How are you? Uh, I'm good. How are you? Okay, great. We are a new flower company in the area. We are calling people randomly, and we are offering them a dozen long stem roses today only. Uh, the only thing we ask in return for these flowers is that you talk about us on your social media. So, oh, okay. Are you on social media? Uh, yeah, totally. Oh, okay, uh, great. Like TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram. Are you on Facebook at all? Um, no. <laughs> no one on my age really uses Facebook. <laughs> <gasps> I'm sorry, can you say that again? What? No one I know or um, in like my age um, or my generation really uses Facebook like that. So Instagram and TikTok is like usually where it's at. Okay, so no Facebook. <laughs> yeah, like my, I use, uh, use Facebook. So. so I guess it's for the older crowd? Um, I guess. Like, um, I mean, vomit. I, I, can I ask how old you are? Um, I'm 19. I'm sorry? 19 years old? Is that gonna be? I'm sorry, one more time? 19. 19, okay. <laughs> 19. That's awesome. <laughs> So, of course, yeah, the Snapchat and the TikTok. It's, oh, that's so cute. Uh, so, who are you going to send these uh, flowers to? Oh, I just dropped my pen. Um, <laughs> Hold on. Do I have to send them to someone or can I keep them to myself? Well, unfortunately, Tracy, um, I can't send them to you directly. You are going to have to send them oh. to someone special in your life. So, um, I think my grandma would appreciate the roses more, I think. Oh, I you're going to send them to your grandma? 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's not really oh. doing well. Okay, so all right, all right. Let's stop. Get a sentence to her grandma. Uh, let's, let's stop. Let's she's stop. probably my age. Uh, I can't. Listen, Tracy, I'm going to bring you in on something right now, really quickly. Um, I want to introduce myself. Hey, I'll just come right out and say I'm Hollywood Hamilton, and I'm with a radio station, which you probably don't listen to the radio anymore because you're 19 years old. <laughs> I'm with iHeartRadio, which is an entertainment company. We throw the iHeart Music Awards, and we do, of Lots course, of concerts. The, yeah, but I'm a, a radio personality with a radio station uh, called KTU, and Marie is with this radio station. We are not with a Rose Company. Oh. We have somebody who you're seeing on the phone with us right now. Do you know Frank? Um, yes, I know Frank. Why is he here? Frank, are you there? Uh, yeah. I'm so confused. Hey, Tracy. Um, Frank, what is this? <laughs> hey, Frank, do you mind if I ask you, did we ask him how old I was? I, no, I don't, I don't know if we did. Frank, how old are you? 36. Okay. Tracy's 19. Okay, ask, ask, ask Eric to come in here for a minute. Okay. Ask Eric. Just, hey, guys, stand by a minute. And, and Tracy, hey, what's going on? Did you know that this Frank guy was 36 years old? Yeah. Did you know that Tracy was 19? Yeah, I knew that. Okay, well, you didn't think to fill us in about that little... I thought I wrote the ages down. No, you didn't. Oh, okay. That's my bad. My bad. Yeah, also, my another bad. young kid's yeah. term that they use. Yeah, TikTok. I'm a TikToker. Tickety-tick-tock. Okay, thank you, Eric. All right. Uh, okay, oh, let's bring it back home. Gosh. All right, listen, here's the deal, Tracy, really quickly. we uh, First of all, where did you two meet? Um, <laughs> funny story, um, I actually met up through babysitting. I, I babysit his kids. You, you what? I, I babysit his kids. Oh, the babysitter. It, the ju babysitter. it just keeps getting better. Come on. Frank. Do you know Frank's history? Um, that he has an ex-wife? Um, yeah, okay. I met her. Very good. Okay. And, and because of the damage that ensued during the divorce, you know, because he's very vulnerable right now, obviously, and he's very suspicious of everything around him because his ex-wife cheated on him, he just wanted to put you through this test called War of the Roses. We wanted to see who you were going to send the roses to. Do, do you see you and Frank uh, taking this to the next level? Like, I know you've been dating six months. Do you see yourself with Frank for like a forever type of situation? I mean, uh, totally. Hopefully, like, um, that he he thinks the same way. Hey, uh, guys, I I don't need to be ridiculed. I, I really like her. That I said that earlier. So it's not, a, it doesn't need to be a thing. The age thing is, was not a question in question. Okay, FYI, 17 year difference. You're 36, you've already uh, done a lot in your life, had a lot of life experiences. Okay, 19, just starting out her life, hasn't had many life experiences, and she TikToks. I, and I'm okay with that. Okay, but she might be okay with it now, Tracy, and um, just hear me out. I'm not judging you. You still have a lot of life to live yet. I think I've lived enough life, to be honest. I think I'm ready to settle down. What do you guys What do you guys talk about at dinner? Uh, <laughs> what do you talk about? At well, uh, let me ask you something, Frank. What's your favorite form of music? I, I like classic rock. I like you okay. Know, so you know. give, give me one band: Guns N' Roses. Tracy, do you have you ever heard of Guns N' Roses? Um, I I, I don't know who that that. Is under the roses there, but um, I'm really trying to get Frank into the like electronic, like dance music type type scene, and to get him into the festivals and stuff like that. Right. Um, so he hasn't attended a festival with you yet at all. Not yet, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think uh, Guns N' Roses is kind of like the polar opposite <laughs> of an electronic dance oh. uh, type of thing. I'm not that interested in going to electronic music. But, but you told me that you'd love to go to electronic. I've been trying to get you to go to that jazz festival. Well, um, you, you don't try. Like, no, no, you're going to say anymore. <laughs> What about television? It must be so awkward for you both to get together and watch a little television. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? It's not awkward. It's totally for, cool. all right, for, for example, Frank, what do you watch? Uh, I've been watching, I just finished The Crown, and I've been, you know, slowly rewatching The Sopranos. 
Yeah, what, what about you, Tracy? Um, well, I mean, I would kind of argue it's a little awkward because I like to watch Love is Blind and, like, um, 90 Day Fiance, like, reality television right. type of stuff. Right. Ridiculousness, Catfish, The Hills, like, reality shows. Oh, and, my God. And it's, like, there you go. Okay. Exactly. It's entertaining. Yeah, I know it's, it's entertaining. I know. I know. All the prank it's shows you probably love and all the dating shows. and. Yeah, Frank, I mean, Frank is wanting you to learn a little bit of, like, History Channel, uh, <laughs> learn about the, you know, World War II. Uh, hey, I'm not uh, about it. I'm not like, I don't have to watch that with him. All right, I understand. Hey, look, Tracy, uh, look, you guys, uh, th this co completely went sideways. So we're just going to end it with, Tracy, you might want to take uh, Marie's advice and think about your future and, and think about, you know, is this really something that... You're going to deal with him for the rest of your life? I don't know. Jazz festivals? No, we wish you the best. Yes, we do. Let us know what happens, though. I'd like to... I, can we hear back from you and... Uh, sure, I guess. Okay, Tracy, <laughs> we're going to depend on you calling us in a couple months, okay? Let us know. Frank might not even remember this phone call. He probably doesn't even know how to dial it. It's okay. No. Oh! <laughs> yes, I mean, it's tough. The rotary phone. The rotary phone, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Anyway, let's delve in. Frank is 36 years old and Tracy is 19. Some people will say age is just a number. They're adults. Is it? Is age a number for you? When Frank was 17, Tracy was just born. Hmm. In our society today, most men are it's more likely to find men that are a little older than the women it's usually how it is you know once as they get older in age then maybe the woman gets a younger man or the man gets a younger woman but in this case with frank and tracy frank fell in love with his babysitter young vibrant ready for life young girl hooked up with her I was watching I was reading an article on psychcentral.com and this psycho this licensed mental health counselor and founder of psych point Gina Marie Guerno she stated that there's challenges when it comes to vast age differences she said, the bigger the gap between partners, the more likely the relationship will struggle. She talks about the health issues that the, per the older person might encounter. She talked about life's priority, like an older person may not want to do certain things or, you know, you, the been there, done that kind of mentality. And also plans to start family. In Frank's case, 15, what, 14, 15 years of marriage? Wow. Wow. That's what I can, and two children. So you have to look at him and Tracy. Tracy's just 19. They didn't talk about her going to college. They didn't say maybe further in her education. They didn't talk about her working. They didn't talk about her living with her by herself or maybe, you know, she... They didn't talk about um, her finances. They didn't talk about anything like that. Is she ready to go settle down with a 36-year-old man with two children? She said she's ready because she's lived life. But what type of life? Just graduated from high school. Are you in college? Is she in college? What kind of life experiences he she has? What is Frank looking for I think Frank as he said he's looking for someone who will settle down with a single man with children and knows how to take care of the man and his children that's a babysitter or a housekeeper or nanny a au pair yeah that's what they are two children is a lot for a 19 year old in a relationship but that's just my opinion they're not I'm looking at Tracy she wasn't mentally there mentally i mean emotionally there to um mature emotionally mature she's talking about things that 
Hank isn't even interested in. No, they're not, they don't even have any similarities. She don't watch the movie he watches. She don't want listen to the music he listens to. She doesn't go to the, 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 the events he wants to go to. Where is the similarity? Where is the com where is the 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 the, com the the thing that's gonna glue them together? We didn't talk what about sexual? I don't know if they had sex already, but you cannot you have to factor that into the equation as well. What things they have in common that they can sit and talk about? He said what well, he said they, she didn't even know who it's guns and roses. She don't know what it is because it's not her time. It's not her era. <laughs> and Marie was something else. Marie and Hollywood, they're like a, a pair never to reckon with. They're like comedians. So you're telling so what do you think? Age is just a number. In this case. Because in other cases it may be okay. But in this case with Frank and Tracy, a 36-year-old and a 19-year-old, is age just a number? Hmm. And what's what what is appropriate for you? What age difference is appropriate for you? If you're saying um, age is just a number, what is the difference? One to two year difference, two to six years difference, four to you know what is your what is your 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 cutoff your cutoff limit for age difference? If you are looking to date or be with someone what's your difference what what at what age group would you go to there are different in life stages right now she's young and ready to mingle go out partying don't even know if she start drinking no drinking is 21 so she can't drink is it 21 or gambling one of them but she can't drink and I don't think she could go gamble or go to the casino or go to Vegas and those things. I think you have to be 21 for gamble and drink. I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right. Okay. So there's a big difference with the way how we're life stages. He's been working. He's putting in. He has worked. I would think so. He has a pension. He has all of these things. Another thing that could cause a relationship where the age different is so vast like in this case is baggage frank is bringing his baggage into this relationship yes a big bag him have him have one of them one of them bag you know like when you open it it extends insecurities six months insecurities when you speak, when you go talk to a, a, a 19 year old, she's going to be gone doing things with girlfriends, hanging out late, doing all this fun stuff that 19 year old does. So he's coming in with the insecurities, the not trusting based on what, based on the issue he had with his ex-wife. He, she cheated on him. According to Frank, the ex-wife cheated on him. So he's coming in with all this baggage and if you, I don't, children wouldn't be a baggage, but you know, you're coming, they, I don't know their age group, but sometimes children from previous marriages can be an issue in a current relationship. You're not my mother. You're not my father. Why? And they're, they, they become, um, what would you say the word? They'll become like mean to the, to the step parent. So those are kind of things they would have to contend with and, and, and watch. But if she's been a babysitter to the children, that means they're younger. And probably they do like her as well. So that's one up for her and him. Not knowing what you want in the future. I don't think she even know what she wants in the future. Based on what she's talking about, everything is Instagram, Snapchat, um, and the other social media platforms. She said none of her friends are on Facebook. <laughs> but that's the era she was born in compared to Frank, who is a Facebook and whatever other the, the social media he, he's, a, he, he's on. Um, so I don't think based on what they're saying with the age group, I think Tracy should reconsider. 
date someone her own age experiment with someone her own age maybe frank could show her a trick or two but you know our teacher she's going to become like a father figure he's going to be the one teaching her don't do this do that try this don't try that come over here go over there use it he's going to be like a father figure to her although he's not there to be judged we're not really judging but we're just looking at this situation with the age difference i'm not judging them they're adults and it's up to two of them if they're happy go for it if they want to be with each other go for it but when you bring it out into the public yes we're going to look into it and it will seem like we're scrutinizing or we're 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 talking bad about it but no we're not we're just i am i i'm just giving a review of what i believe my opinions what someone else is say based on their criteria their qualification their profession yes so the temptation is there especially in a relationship to not to go well that's where the, te the temptation is because of the age difference she's young she's pretty so the temptation might be there i don't think she's ready to settle down on a weekend with children and a movie once in a while yes but that's how it is so ladies and gentlemen my subscribers my explorers i'm talking to you yes do you believe in this situation age is just a number do you think that tracy is getting herself into something that it's not gonna last do you think that frank is rushing too fast into another relationship where he just got out of a 15 14 15 year marriage which ended so emotionally wrecked he's emotionally wrecked what is your what's your thought he has the children so apparently it's something if the husband gets the children then he might be seen or deemed the fit parents the better parent or you know to take care of the children and he's looking for a mother figure for them she's 19 the kids are the kids i mean my opinion guys i think frank should find a more mature person a more mature female woman who can instill values morals who can teach the children to be to be better teach the children to become good citizens teach them values so what is she going to teach them uh, at 19 year old what more what values what is it she's going to teach these kids other than help with homework what life what life treasures what nuggets of information what proverbs what is what fables she could tell these kids because she has no experience to draw from to say i've been through this or i had this experience or she has no eyes to 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 draw from to act as experience as i was saying to tell these children motherly instinct what is there she's not a mother she's just a babysitter you go for a period of time between if it's a nighttime thing or if it's during the day when the person come home from work you get you go home you get paid week you go back the next week it's a job how are you gonna put now that job or into a relationship she's just gonna be there to work for you to help you with the children to take care of the children you're not gonna get a room a partner you're gonna get a babysitter my explorers that's it for me i'm going to rest my voice yes and uh, until tomorrow this is rowena explores with another episode of war the roses stay tuned tomorrow for another one until then wait 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 don't go anywhere remember i do have my children's book ayana's flying saucer sighting that you can buy on my website up there yeah or over here somewhere <laughs> rowenaexplores.com and it's also available on amazon and barnes and noble walmart places like that it's here rowena explores about a little girl who learn how to not make assumptions and ask questions because she doesn't know. So 
This book will teach your child, children, how to ask questions for clarification. Ayana's Flying Sauce Society is also available um, wherever books on demands are sold. So go on your website, guys, and buy, support the cause. <laughs> Take care, guys. Until then, bye.